is uh that's okay right actually not right now not right oh. now Today's video is sponsored by the game War Thunder. Click the link down in the description to start playing today. In today's video, we're gonna test out what happens if you leave human teeth in a few drinks for over a week. Guys, today we are here with Dr. Joe from Flatrate Doctors, and we've got an experiment that involves teeth. Here's the basic idea. We have five different beverages and liquids, and we're going to see what happens if we leave a human tooth in them for a week. I think a lot of us have heard ideas about Coke and some other drinks being really bad for your teeth. It's true. Uh, there's a few reasons why. There's the sugar, and then there's also the carbon dioxide, which affects the teeth. As well as, I think there's a healthy dose of different kinds of acid. Yeah, I was going to say, also, well. it's very acidic. Here's what we're going to do. We've got a bunch of jars. We've got five different liquids, and you have teeth, not yep. just the ones in your in your mouth, but you have We're not just going to hold soda in our mouth for extracted teeth and we want to try putting the teeth in each of those five different liquids and letting them sit for a week. What do you think? I think we're going to get some dissolved teeth. <laughs> Depends on the liquid oh, obviously. Oh boy. All right, well, we'll get some jars with liquids set up and if you want to grab some teeth, we can take a look at those and then okay, I'll start soaking. While Dr. Joe runs and grabs those teeth, you should take a moment to check out our sponsor for today, War Thunder. War Thunder is an online military vehicle combat game and it is playable for free on the PC, PS4, and Xbox One. If you and your friends don't play on the same platform, it's alright. It's playable cross-platform. One really cool thing about War Thunder is that it has over 1,200 playable tanks, aircraft, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. One of my personal favorites is the M1A1 tank. One of my favorite parts about this game is the realistic damage system. Your vehicles don't just take general damage, but damage to each one of the components that are hit. By registering now, you'll get a free bonus of a premium tank, aircraft, or ship, as well as a three-day account boost. So click the link in the description to start playing for free today. This is not a healthy tooth, but this is quite the deformed tooth, it looks like. Yeah, that's a wisdom tooth. Okay. A lot of times they have crazy curved roots, and Interesting. it often will take a while to get them out, but... Yeah. And you said that this had been locked on, like locked onto the bones, so you have to like wiggle them out? Yeah, you just, okay. uh, you gently elevate them and um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not too hard as long as you know what you're doing. Okay, so these teeth were all extracted because there was some problem with them, they had to be removed, but they're still the same composition as a regular tooth. If you were to drink soda, we're gonna have the same effect on it? Correct. Okay, so that's gonna be really interesting. So these are the teeth that we're actually going to be putting in all the different liquids that we've brought today. We brought the Coca-Cola, which you saw, I brought straight lemon juice, which of course is gonna be very high in citric acid content. I have carbonated water, just nothing else, water, carbonation, milk, and iced coffee. I think the one with the milk will probably stay intact. Okay. But I think the ones with the more acid to them, I think it will actually turn the teeth almost into a kind of a jelly. And one thing about teeth composition, yeah, because you basically have um, proteins uh, in your teeth. Okay. And the outside, which the enamel, doesn't have much proteins. It has, I think, 5%, if that. And um, the dentin actually has about 50%. So I think you'll still have plenty of proteins on the dentin, but I think most of the enamel will be gone. You might have something very soft and squishy on the outside, but for the most part, uh, the, the enamel will be gone, and the, what will be left is the proteins of the dentin, so yeah. Interesting, okay, so I'm, I'm thinking maybe that the coffee one's gonna stain it really bad, that's what people always say, you drink too much coffee, it's gonna stain your teeth. Is that gonna be possible? Or are I, they I, just gonna dissolve? I think they might somewhat dissolve because of the acidity of it, but okay. yeah, I think it will also stain it. Okay, so we'll just see what's left by the end of this. We've got some jars here, and I think we can just pour some of each of our, they're not all drinks, but our liquids into the jars, and then pick a good tooth for each one, and. Then we'll seal them up for a week and see what happens to them. Fantastic. So while Nate is pouring these, Dr. Joe, you had mentioned that people, you know, they think, okay, well, if I'm gonna drink soda, I may have to make sure to, you know, brush my teeth right after to, you know, make sure that I'm keeping my teeth clean. Is that good or bad for you? It's actually bad. You it should is? wait at least a half an hour because you have uh, these minerals in your teeth, calcium hydroxyapatite crystals, okay. that demineralize. And when you demineralize them uh, and then brush straight away, you can actually brush the crystals away because it basically makes them kind of sharp and pointy and it's easy to just knock them off. And so it will destroy your enamel over time doing that or, or your dentin or your cementin, depending on where you're brushing. So you're basically but, just like brushing off part of your tooth if you do that. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, slow boy. and microscopic parts, but if you do it over time, you know, it's, it's bad for you. Especially like, I mean, the orange juice and then brushing right after, not only does it taste horrible, but it, you know, will hurt your teeth. So we've got going around Coca-Cola, 
white vinegar, carbonated water, iced coffee, 2% milk, and lemon juice. For our two darkest liquids, I actually want to put the brightest white teeth. I'm hoping we can see a color change. All right, I like that. All right, just start um, choosing. Are yeah. they, I'm assuming these are sanitized, like making... I, I would still put on gloves, personally, <laughs> but it's up to you. Hey, you've got gloves on already. I've got already. gloves on. Yeah. All right, I'll start so, yeah, choosing. So let's do some bright ones in the Coca-Cola right. and the coffee. Our Coca-Cola tooth. Goodbye, white tooth. Let's see if we can... Uh, oh, it's... There, there it is right there on the side of the jar. Uh, vinegar? Vinegar. Let's go with a giant wisdom tooth. Let's do it. We've seen what happens when you put eggs into vinegar. Mm -hmm. It dissolves the shell. I think several people may have seen the trick where you can take a turkey wishbone and leave that in vinegar for like a week and it becomes very rubbery. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to see what this is going to do to the tooth. Will it dissolve it? Will it make it squishy? All right, another super white one for our coffee. Milk. Let's go ahead. Let's try one that really needs some calcium there. This is uh, quite the destroyed tooth. We'll be back in about a week. Yeah. We'll see what's happened then. Set these on a counter and uh, See what happens to him, I guess. All right, guys, it's been a long week. We've got the teeth fitting the liquids. Hang on, I got. Oh. Ah. Okay, it's been a week. <laughs> the teeth have been sitting in our liquids for the whole time. Uh, I think it's time to to drain them out and see what's happened to our teeth. Everybody just big whiff. Deep, oh, deep I'm, breath. I'm definitely not gonna try oh, to breathe at all. We, oh, we definitely yeah. have some curdling going on. Oh, That's... oh, good. Well, oh, wow, it's actually getting, it's able to suction up the curdle, some of them at least. I don't know if you're going to be able to suction out the cottage cheese happening. Well, we have some tooth yogurt. It's actually not really a bad smell. Pour it on in. It's not going to strain. I know, this is just to find the Will tooth. Will it strain? Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, no. So here's, you know, starting out, this is the tooth that was in milk. What do you think? Do you think it looks like it's changed much? No, it looks pretty strong still. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I'll feel it if you would like. The calculus that we had on it is still there. It's still hard. So yeah, no, it, this is fully intact still. But yeah, we have calculus. Basically, they weren't brushing and flossing well and lost bone over and tissue over time and it kept getting lower and lower. The body actually reacts to bacteria by pulling away, um, fighting inflammation, uh, having inflammation and basically the bone and tissue pulling away. And, that's how it gets so much lower. A tooth sitting in milk over a week is still okay. Interesting. You can keep milk in your mouth for over a week. Just, I wouldn't suggest it, but tooth you can. Yogurt. I'm not sure which liquid this is. Based on how much the top is bulging, I'm guessing this is the carbonated water. Yeah, that's a, the oh, same I, I heard a hiss, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably carbonated water. It doesn't smell like vinegar. I was very concerned that you were about to drink that. Even I am not quite that crazy. To me, this also looks like it's in pretty good condition, and we were talking about how the carbonation isn't great for it because it does form an acid uh, in the liquid, um, and so that could be partially dissolving the tooth as well. Give us your thoughts. So it doesn't scratch too easily. I mean, I wouldn't doubt that a regular tooth would scratch that much. Um, it might be a little bit softer. It's really hard to tell. The calculus, though, actually is just coming straight off, so it definitely... <laughs> So it, yeah, it probably did demineralize to some degree. And it's it, gonna be hard to tell the difference between like a hardness that you can't scratch at all and hardness that you yeah. can just barely scratch, but over years of drinking that would Yeah, you know what though? Trying it, the milk one, it's a little harder. I'm still getting a scratch, but the calculus is a fair amount harder and it's just, it is coming off, but at the same time, it's, it's still there where the calculus of this one dissolved. I would say that the carbonated water did definitely do something. Yeah, it's all definitely right. scratching off a little easier. Let's uh, move on to what I assume is our vinegar. Okay. To me, the enamel on this one looks ruined. Yeah, it definitely it looks very chalky. And yeah, you can oh. just rubbing right oh up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you just took the tooth That's apart. the enamel of the tooth that just wiped off with your thumb. Maybe this side was on the actual, like close to the ground. So, Touching the glass. Or, or the glass, yeah. And so, but yeah, look at how it just kind of wipes away. That is a squishy tooth. I wouldn't say it's like jello squishy, but it's definitely... Um, As teeth go, it's squishy. Yes. For a, yes. Squishy for a tooth. Yeah. It's kind of like chalky. That's like It's a piece of wet chalk that's breaking away. So we had two teeth in here, and we have a lot of what I think is just lemon pulp. It's not yeah. actually dissolved tooth. There's lemon pulp in there. But we've got a very similar look on the enamel of these ones, that bright white that I 
think is gonna be chalky. This is our lemon juice. Some of that enamel came off on my pliers as I was, or my tweezers as I was pulling it out. So I think that's at least as destroyed as the vinegar. That's softer. Softer? Yeah, look at it, it just wipes away. Oh my gosh. So yeah. that's more like a paste than a chalk yeah. even. The reason why the dentin isn't wiping away is um, there's only 50% minerals and uh, it's a lot of um, proteins. Here, you, yeah, grab on it a little more and you, you'll see. I might have grabbed the, the um, just, softest part. Just yeah. pulling yeah, it away. Oh, gross. This is the one area it touched the glass. Mm -hmm. And that just protected yeah, it. Yeah, it protected it. But as you can yeah, see, it everywhere else, it's uh, basically just wiping the enamel right off. All right. One of these is Coca-Cola and one of these is coffee. I don't, Actually, I think not you, you're holding coffee. I think, I think, I think, I think yeah, so. I was going to say this is Coca-Cola by the bulge. Oh, yeah. The carbonation. Oh, that, like, sealed itself down. That's definitely Smells coffee. like coffee. Yep. Surprisingly, the enamel isn't too stained. That's like an initial reaction is to say that it doesn't look too stained, but I would say a lot of the staining could probably come off. Yeah, it could come off with a good polishing. And I was just testing here to see if the, the coffee had like degraded. The enamel seems completely intact, unlike our acids. Wow. The hook is doing nothing to it. Yeah. And I imagine I'm also just pulling away a layer of the dentin that was affected by the coffee, but it is whitening it back up. So it looks like it stained a very thin surface layer, but that surface layer, I mean, I think yeah. it's damaging the tooth to scrape it away the way I am. Coca-Cola, the main question, what does Coca-Cola do to your tooth after a week? No! Oh my gosh. No! <laughs> no! Just get a, get a quick look before I even take it out of the jar. It might fall apart. <laughs> oh no! Wow. Have you ever seen an actual tooth in someone's head that looked like that? Uh, not That's where all the way around, them. but the surface area, yes, actually. This? You've seen like, this color? I've seen, basically, it's just heavy were calculus. They, were they eating cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Tar? They were chewing on some tar? I really do think a lot of that staining, again, is the outside layer, but a nice, good dental cleaning like this. And so what you're scraping off, you think is something that would just grow back? No, no, this is cementum. Cementum is connected to actually to the bone. It's a fine layer, and I think that's what we're scraping off, which, as I said, I think it's a lot of the proteins of the periodontal that we're scraping off. The enamel, yeah, maybe it didn't minimize a little. Yeah, it's definitely crumbly a little bit, but not, not that bad comparatively. Yeah. I, it but sure that has, stain still isn't coming off yeah, either. So. Yeah, it sure has stained it, and yeah, it's definitely scraping off a little bit. What are your takeaways from this? Yeah. You should be watching what you drink. Be careful, uh, make sure to brush and floss. But if it's something very acidic, wait at least a half an hour, as we talked about. And yeah, take good care of your teeth. Go to the dentist every six months. A lot of times people try to take good care of their teeth, but they haven't gone in like five or six years and they get periodontal disease, cavities, and things that we could have fixed for very affordable. But then in the end, they waited too long and they ended up needing a root canal crown. So yeah. Yeah, thank, thank you. you guys thank for coming. Thank you, Dr. Joe. This was awesome. It's been fun. Thanks again to our sponsor for today's video, War Thunder. War Thunder is free to play on PC, PS4, and Xbox, and by registering today, you can receive a free bonus of a premium tank, aircraft, or ship, as well as a three-day account boost. So go ahead and click the link in the description to start playing today. Very cool to test this out with all these teeth. That's it for today, but you know we've always got more for you to see. Click that box up at the top to check out our most recent video, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.